In this video, I will show you how to do these minimal classic video game nails that are easy enough for beginners. After base coat, I'm painting each of my nails a different color for the different characters. On my pinky, I'll be doing a super mushroom, so I'm starting with a red polish. My ring finger will be yellow for Pac-Man, my middle will be blue for Sonic, a pink on my index for Kirby, and finally, brown on the thumb for Donkey Kong. Starting with the super mushroom, I painted a band of tan polish across the tip of my nail. Next, I'm using a large dotting tool and white acrylic paint to add a full circle in the middle of the red part, then two half circles on the sides. Lastly, I added two black dashes for eyes, but I wasn't on my game, so I had to go back with the tan polish and sharpen up the shape. Moving on to Pac-Man, I used a black paint and a Winstonia detail brush to sketch in a triangle mouth on the side of my nail. Once again, I sharpened up the edges with the base color. Then just add a black dot for his eye, and that's it! For Sonic, I also started with a stripe of tan polish across the tip of my nail. Once that dried, I added two big white circle eyes, keeping a valley of blue in the middle. Next, I added a black dot for his nose and two black pupils. Then to make him a little cuter, I finished with two white dots for highlights. Now on to Kirby. I started with two horizontal dashes of a darker shade of pink for his blushing cheeks. Then like I did with Sonic, I added two black pupils and white highlights. And last but not least, Donkey Kong. Using the same tan polish as before, I painted a rounded T-shape in the center of my nail for his chest and tummy. Again, don't worry if the lines aren't clean, just straighten them up with the base color. With the red polish, I painted a half circle around the moon of my nail, then added a larger dot in the center. I sketched in the tie and filled it in to finish up Donkey Kong. Apply a top coat to smooth out all the designs and you're done! Don't forget to check the description box for a list of all the polishes I used and leave me a comment below on what nail tutorial you'd like to see next.